Now the next update Rana, is only uh, you're not going to believe I where this is from. Can not <laughs> believe the, the cat eyes came that back are in the very next day. My oh, yes, head. This <laughs> is a year in the making, at least. At least this could be two years old. I'm not. You sure. don't even know how upset I would have been if I had been out of town for one more week to miss this. This isn't this this well, this updates for you. There's no question. This everybody, if you are familiar with the greatest hits of the show. Yeah. Then you are familiar with the question about the man whose partner's uncle yeah. poured red, <laughs> red wine in their, in their, do- in their puppy's dog wine. dish. Yeah. Yeah. Outrageous. And laughed about it. And everybody laughed. laughed about it. The whole family laughed and laughed and laughed. Thought it was great. Hello again, Ron and Brian. I was recently listening to a newer episode of your show when you, Rana, harken back to my previous submission. We'll never get over it. About my partner's uncle pouring red wine into our pug puppy's water dish at Thanksgiving. <laughs> She's so insane. <laughs> but it was I funny. know exactly what it this uncle looks It wasn't funny, like. but it was funny. He, he's the artful dodger to me. Yeah. Just wanted to drop a quick update. Oh, this uncle is Kate. Uh, William and Kate is Kate's uncle. You know, she has that uncle who's- Yes. Yeah. A little bit of a mission. Gary maker. Goldsmith or something like that Absolutely. is his name. Yeah. He's, yeah. The, he's the one. Yeah. He's the one. Yeah. That's who did Maud this. Maude is thriving, I guess mm-hmm. is the dog, and yeah. still a gorgeous shade of vanilla. She even has a little sister, an all-black pug named Tippy Hedren. While this recent addition to our family, <laughs> I'm sure Tippy would be so honored. Probably. While this recent, ad- yeah. yeah. She loves animals. While this recent addition to our family is not being attacked by birds, per se, she it's is a certainly- Hitchcock ch- reference. Oh, I, oh sure. Uh-huh. She's certainly chasing them out of our yard on a daily basis. Okay. In any event, after several years- Leave the writing to the writers. My partner, excuse me. <laughs> Cynthia Priest is not going to listen to this one. No. Hus- my partner's, <laughs> excuse me, uh, husband and I, or my, my partner and my partner, excuse me, husband and I- Excuse have been me. Able to let the dust settle on uh-huh. this Thanksgiving kerfuffle. Rana, you were spot on with your advice regarding my inability to ever change my in-laws. The good news th- is that I never even well, tried. That's, you know, that's given. Yeah. The pandemic afforded my husband and I some distance from this incident and subsequently the family. The distance allowed his family to actually miss subsequently. us. Subsequently. 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 Here we go again. The distance allowed you his family to You didn't ask anybody actually... when you were in England what's the proper way to pronounce that? We've been trying to figure that out for three years now. No, I didn't. I just went around saying to every English subsequently. person, you're wrong, you're saying it wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> sort of did that a lot. Yeah. The distance allowed his family to actually miss us and also sit around for some time convinced we had written them off. We always stay in contact, but there were boundaries. And if those boundaries were not respected, they were notified. If my family's oh. husband, I know. Notified. If my husband's family were made to feel like they were on eggshells with us for some time, you wouldn't hear me complaining. Brian, you mentioned the original episode that it would have been comical to watch my husband and I charge into the room and make a scene after we found the wine in the water dish. I don't mind telling you that we were actually the calm ones in the scenario. Looking back to that day, most people in the room were expecting a blow up when all they got was a series of questions and a brief statement of how this behavior was unacceptable. That's a Rana move. And it's an effective one. Mm. A couple of years Wait, later, what's a Rana move? Just like not to blow up, but just a couple of well-placed, practically rhetorical questions about why someone would do that. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. A couple of years later, the relationship with my husband's family is noticeably, noticeably better. I accept what I cannot change and make a good... They're just putting Diet Coke in there now. I accept what I cannot <laughs> change and make a conscious effort to not position Chocolate myself. milk. Exactly. Between my husband and his grape family. Grape milk. They're putting grape milk in there. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Kind of grape Just kill dogs. I can't remember. Wine, cu- wine flavored yeah. milk. Yeah. There was a slight hiccup this past <laughs> Thanksgiving, 2021, where they seemed to have forgotten we were in the house, set the table for the meal Wait, without have... providing seats for us. What? And what? started eating a solid 30 minutes before we even knew they had begun. But like I said, what am I to do what? here? And my husband's what? Def- that is what? so crazy. That is Wait, so crazy. Like you said, they what am I going to do here? They hate your guts. They hate your guts. Hiccup. They hate your guts. Hiccup. I wouldn't say that's the most deliberate again. thing I've ever heard. Horrible. They set the table. It wasn't a buffet. And then started eating for thirty minutes. It was minutes. a buffet, and they said, "Oh, there's food down here whenever people want it." That's one no. thing. They, they set didn't the table, set you a eating. place, and you were staying there. 